Hi friends, I'm super excited to talk to you. I hope all are you doing fine during this corona pandemic. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Sunil Sable. I am a pediatric neurologist, stress management consultant, wellness coach, and international number one bestseller author. And I am the founder of Health and Happiness Hub. I am on a mission to educate 1 million people about stress, chronic disorders, how to manage it effectively so as to lead a healthy, happy, and more fulfilling life. Okay. I just want to share my story with you. Five years back, my health was in a completely bad shape. I was completely stressed out, burnt out. I had put on 10 kg of it. I was looking much older than my chronological age. Then I stopped. I introspected. I took a sabbatical. I started reading a lot of books on spirituality, on health, self-help book. With the medical knowledge and with this knowledge which I have acquired by reading hundreds of books, I formulated certain principle. I implemented it and it completely transformed my life. I lost 10 kg of weight. I started looking much younger than my chronological age. My work efficiency improved. My relationship with my parents, my spouse and my colleague improved. And I started leading healthy, happy and more fulfilling life. Dear friends, when you have a knowledge, then you would like to share it. So I started conducting seminars, workshop on stress management for various organization. And it helped thousands of people to transform their life. Then I published a book named Oh Stress, Give Me a Break. And it has become an international number one bestseller on Amazon. Now I'm conducting a webinar to create awareness about stress, chronic disorder, and how to manage it effectively so as to lead healthy, happy, and more fulfilling life. And that's why you are here to attend this webinar because you are a health warrior. You want to take your health in your own hand. You want to completely transform your life. That's why you are attending this webinar. I have formed a community known as Health and Happiness Community. And I would like to share the code of honor principle in which this community is best. So it is based on certain principle. The first principle is holistic health. The member in this community try to attain holistic health. That is health in all the sphere of life, personal, social, professional, and spiritual. The member also strive to guide other family members and friends to attain the same holistic health. The second principle is mindfulness and awareness. The member strive to live in a present moment. He doesn't regret about past and he is not worrying about future. Though he have a high goal, but once he set a goal, he start living in a present moment. He believe in taking action in this present moment and enjoying the life in the present moment. He tried to change the things which he can change, but he has to accept the things which is beyond his control. The third principle is environmental protection. The member placed to protect the environment by having a cleanliness around himself, saving the water and preventing the pollution of the environment. The fourth principle is leadership. Leadership is not to control other people, but to take one's life and transform it. If you want to change something, you have to change yourself. You cannot change other people. The change should start with you. Once you change, then you are the example, the torchbearer for this society. So 
each and every member place to be a leader. Fifth is a Kaizen. Kaizen is a continuous daily improvement. The member place to learn, to act, and to educate other people continuously. He is in competition with himself, not with other people. He try to become better person today as compared to the yesterday. And he believe in taking massive action. The sixth principle is contribution to the society. The member place to contribute positively toward the upliftment of the society. Maybe a monetary contribution or a contribution of his skill, time and knowledge. So these are the six principles in which I have formulated this community. And I advise you to be a part of this community. Now, what is the agenda of today's webinar? In this webinar, we are going to discuss about stress. What changes occur in our body during stress? What are the diseases caused by stress? What are the signs of stress? Three stress management strategies. Dear friends, the Saint Kabir has said, Jini jini binari chadariya, kahe katana, kahe ki bharni, kon taan se bini chadariya. Sai siyat dasma lage thok thok ke bini chadariya. Sovat chadar sur nar muni ode, odi ki maili kar dini chadariya. Das kabir jatan se odi, joki tyo dhar dini chadariya. So what does it mean? The kabir said, the God has given you a life, a body, which is a miracle itself. You can watch the environment, you can hear, you can smell, you can taste, you can walk. This is a miracle. If you want to experience, ask a blind person the importance of vision and ask a hearing impaired person the importance of hearing. The God has given you such a beautiful life and beautiful body. But with our indulgence and negligence, we neglect our body. And it leads to so many chronic disorders. The Kabir said, if you want to lead a healthy, happy and more fulfilling life, then you have to lead the life with the full awareness. The awareness that we are not the owner of our body. The body is given by the God, the Almighty, and we are the trustee. We have to maintain our body because you are the trustee of this body. So how to maintain this body? How to remain in a complete physical, mental, and spiritual fitness? These are the things which are going to discuss in this webinar. So to start with, I would like to share certain statistic with you. In the research, it is found that the incidence of non-communicable disorders like obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer kill 40 million people globally. As far as India is concerned, 4.8 million people die because of non-communicable disorders. Non-communicable disorders will cost the world $47 trillion and for India, $4.5 trillion. So the cost is humongous. But why these diseases are increasing exponentially? In the research, it is found that the, the causes of these diseases are stress, urbanization, lifestyle changes, sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy diet, high caloric intake, lack of exercise, smoking, tobacco use, alcohol abuse, toxin in the environment, and pollution. To add fuel to the fire, now there is a corona pandemic. Millions of people have been affected and millions have died because of corona pandemic. There is an atmosphere of stress, anxiety, depression, and hopelessness. And there would be more deaths because of the mental disease than the disease itself. But I'd like to tell you, the human being has undergone this kind of pandemic. 
and they are overcome it and we will overcome with this pandemic this too shall pass remember this word this too shall pass but the need of the hour is to keep ourselves mentally and physically fit and improve the immunity and this is the things which i am going to discuss in this webinar i'd like to share a standard disclaimer the content in this webinar doesn't provide the medical advice it is intended for informational purpose only it is not a substitute for professional medical advice diagnosis and treatment never ignore professional medical advice in seeking treatment because of something you have listened during this webinar so let's begin what is a stress stress is our body's physical mental behavioral reaction to any perceived demand or threat the stress in a latin means stressful means tense that's why tension and stress is used synonymously now stress is a constant optimum amount of stress is required for growth development and progress and it is called as you stress so i'd like to share a graph with you you can see on x axis there is a level of stress and on y axis there is a performance and you can see the graph is a bell shaped graph it means that as the level of stress increases the performance increases to certain extent but afterward the performance will fall down so on when there is a less stress in a body the performance is less you are bored you are apathetic and you are lethargic and when you have optimum stress you are highly motivated you have high energy you are alert and you are have a optimum performance but if this stress is excessive and persist for a prolonged period of time then it lead to low performance panic collapse indecisiveness and various chronic disorders so optimum amount of stress is required for optimum functioning so i would like to share one story with you once a teacher took children to the garden the children were watching the birth of the birth of a butterfly the caterpillar was coming out of the cocoon while the caterpillar was coming out of the cocoon its body was getting squeezed between the egg shell the blood was oozing out of the body of the caterpillar it was under a very severe pain one child could not witness the pain of a caterpillar the child broke open the cocoon took the caterpillar and put on a ground he thought he has helped the caterpillar but unfortunately after some time the caterpillar died when the teacher came to know about this incidents he scolded the children but explain them that when the caterpillar was coming out of the cocoon though its body was getting squeezed though the blood was oozing out of its body though the caterpillar was under severe pain it was very essential for its survival because during that process the excess water in its body was getting squeezed out so that its body and wing would have become light it would have become butterfly and it would have fly but as you bypass this pain this stress the excess water in his body remain inside and that's why the caterpillar died so my dear friends the stress is there it is very helpful for our growth and performance if stress is moderate okay so it is called as eu stress now i have told you that less stress is a problem more stress is a problem on a lighter note once a delegation went to visit a mental asylum the delegates were observing the status of the patient the doctor took this delegation to room number 1 there the patient was in a very pathetic state he was kissing one photograph he was hugging that photograph the delegates asked the doctor 
doctor, why this person become a mad? The doctor said, this person was in love with a girl named Lucy. But unfortunately, he couldn't marry that girl. And because of that, he become mad. Then the delegation went into room number two. There, the man was in a very agitated state. He was hitting the photograph with his shoes. He was tearing that photograph. The delegates asked the doctor, why this man become a man? The doctor said he married the same girl named Lucy. Okay, so less stress is a problem. More stress is a problem. Optimum amount of stress is required for optimum performance. Now, stress is idiosyncratic. So what does it mean? The stress to one person may not be stress to other. For example, climbing a mountain or traveling to the aeroplane or giving a talk in front of people may be stressful to one person, but it may be enjoyable to other. It depends upon the person's perception, personality, locus of control, belief system, social support and hostility. Okay, and stress is increased because of the modern life, so, so called as a fast life. The modern man is a too busy and stressed out to enjoy the life. Okay, so the modern man has invented a lot of gadgets, mobile phone, computer, internet, and various mode of communication. But instead of giving relaxation and rest, it has added more burden to the already stressed man. Because of this modality of communication, you have to encounter constant contact with your customers and it has increased the stress and children's are not exception. Children's are under severe stress and it has caused various physical, emotional and mental problem. Now what actually occurs in our body during stress and it is called as fight and flight response. For example, if I ask you to cover a distance of one kilometer, how much time it will take? It may take minute or hour. But if there is a competition and people has to cover a distance of one kilometer, how much time it will take? It will take few minutes. But imagine somebody is running after you with a gun in his hand, how much time it will take? Okay, so you will cover the distance within a fraction of minutes. So why this happen? Our body has an innate mechanism to deal with a stressful situation and it is called as a fight and flight response. When our ancestor used to go in jungle, when they used to come across a lion, this fight and flight response got activated. When we come across certain stress, certain dangerous situation, this response is activated. Or if we imagine that something bad is going to happen, this fight and flight response get activated. So under a stressful situation, the limbic system get activated and it stimulates various parts of the brain. Okay, so it activates sympathetic nervous system, it activates various glands in our body and secretes a lot of hormone like SETS, TSH, adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol, thyroxine. Now these all hormones, all the sympathetic nervous system causes various physiological changes in our body. Our heart rate increase so that the blood is reached to all the part of the body. Our breathing rate increase so that blood is oxygenated. The muscle become tense so that you can fight or flight away from your opponents. The blood pressure increase, the insulin secretion increase, the blood flow to the brain, lung, heart and muscle increases. The blood clotting mechanism get activated so that if there is a bleeding, then you, not, you are protected from the blood loss. On the other hand, the fight and flight response decrease other functions like blood flow to the digestive tract, kidney and skin. Also, the tissue repair mechanism is impaired and immune system response is impaired. Now, my dear friends, these physiological changes are very essential for survival for a short period of time. 
For example, when our ancestors used to come across the lion, he used to either fight with it or he used to run away from it. And during that process, these hormones and is utilized and it is followed by relaxation response. It is also called as parasympathetic response. So as far as the fight and flight response is activated for a short period of time to tide over the acute stressful situation, it is very useful. But if these changes are persistent in our body for a prolonged period of time, then it causes end organ damage and lead to various physical and mental disorders. And unfortunately, during modern time, the man is under constant stress. When he goes into office, he has a, a stress of a job, the deadlines, the projects, clients, boss, colleagues. When he comes to the house, he has a stress of his spouse, children. And when he watch the television, then he has a stress of all the world. So he's under constant stress so that this fight and flight response are constantly activated and it leads to various mental and physical disorders. Okay. Now, what are the diseases caused by stress? The stress causes various disorders. You take any disorders and stress may be a contributing factor. The stress may cause heart disease, high blood pressure, stomach problem, respiratory problem, type two diabetes, back problem, headache, migraine, obesity, arthritis, cancer, skin problem, mental health problem, immune system problem so that you are prone for various disorders, child partner abuse, suicide, homicide, alcohol, drug use and abuse, tobacco use, violence and aggressive behavior, accidents, skin, sleep problems, sexual problem. Now, we have come to a step of management of stress. How to manage the stress? Okay. Stress would be constant in your life. There's only one place on the earth where there is no stress and that is a graveyard. So you have to deal with the stress each and every moment, every day of your life. So the purpose of this webinar is how to manage this stress effectively so as to lead a healthy and happy life. The first step is identify if you are stressed. Awareness is the first step toward the management of stress. So stand in front of a mirror, look at yourself, look at your posture, your abdomen, your waist, your shoulder. Close your eye and introspect whether you are enjoying life or just carrying out your day mechanically. So first objective way, how you can manage your health is uh, measure your health is a body mass index. So you have to take your weight in kilogram then you have to measure your height in meter. And the formula is weight divided by height in meter square and it will give you a body mass index okay so if the body mass index is above 30 then it is obesity now even if the two people have bo uh, same body mass index it doesn't tell you the composition of fat the fat percentage in your body the muscle percentage in, in your body so if you if two people have the same BMI and there may be difference in a body fat composition. So better method to manage and see whether you are healthy or not is waist to hip ratio. Now I'd like to just have a, a few points regarding what is a waist to hip ratio. Now there are two types of obesity, the peripheral obesity and the central obesity. Okay. So if the obesity or fat accumulation occur around your abdomen, your body become an apple shape. And it is called a central obesity. And it is found in a research that those people who have a central obesity, they have a high chance of development, the high chance of developing diabetes, hypertension, metabolic syndrome, heart disease. While those who have a pear shaped body where the fat is in the extremity or around the hip, there's a less chances of these chronic disorders, okay? So 
the waist to hip ratio is a better mechanism with which you can ass uh, assess your health. So how to calculate your waist to hip ratio? So take the head, waist circumference just with the help of measuring tape just above the umbilicus and hip circumference at a maximum circumference around your hip and divide your waist circumference by hip circumference. And if the waist to hip ratio is more than 0.9 in male and 0.85 in female, it indicates obesity. So assess your physical health. Now, there are certain signs. If these signs are persistent and overwhelming in your life, then you have to think that you are under a moderate to severe stress. So what are the physical signs of excess stress? Dry mouth, increased heart rate, muscle ache, stiffness or pain, high blood pressure, frequent cold or flu, worsening of the existing illness, chest pain, headache, indigestion, constipation, stomach cramp, sweating, nausea, trembling, fatigue, weight gain or loss, mental sign like difficulty in concentration and making decision, decreased memory, mind going blank or racing, confusion, loss of sense of humor, decreased libido, inattention, bad dreams, behavioral signs like increased smoking, drinking, drug use, yelling, swearing, aggression, change in eating habit, change in sleeping habit, nervousness like nail biting, fidgeting and pacing, emotional signs like anxiety, anger, irritability, impatience, short temper, frustration, worry and fear. Now you have to measure these symptoms and you have to put on a scale of one to 10. Okay, or say if you have a normal stress of everyday life, then it is a normal 100 score. But if you are experiencing nervousness, fidgeting, sweating, feeling of failure, muscle tension, headache, then it is a moderate stress. But if you are shaking, your heart is pounding, there's a nausea, feeling of impending doom, then it is a severe stress and you have to take the help of a health uh, uh, doctor. Now, what are the strategies of stress management? I'm going to discuss a three stress management strategy. The first is do not allow stress hormone to stay in our body, use it and have outlet to energy. Third, second is a creative transformation. And third is a taking care of fruit. And we are going to discuss these strategies in detail. So first strategy, on a lighter note, there was a company and there was an employee named Mullah Nasruddin. And he had a very atrocious boss. The boss used to always fire him. You are useless. You always come late. You do not do work properly. I'm going to fire you. The Mullah Nasruddin gets very angry. He has a strong urge to hit his boss with his shoes. But because of the job, he control himself. But as the atrocity of the boss increases, the Mullah Nasruddin become more and more angry and his urge to hit the boss with his shoes increase exponentially. He becomes so uneasy and so worried that he stopped going to the company. The worried parent took Mullah Nasruddin to the doctor. When the doctor, after undergoing and listening to the history, he told Mullah Nasruddin, the remedy is very simple. Have a big photograph of your boss at your home and hit that photograph with your shoes five times before going to office and five times after coming back from the office. Mullah Nasruddin said, how it's gonna help me? Doctor said, do way I have advised you. The Mullah Nasruddin followed the doctor's advice. And after a few days, his anger toward boss decreased, his work efficiency improved. And after one month, the, the doctor called Mullah Nasruddin in his cabin and said, Mullah, your work efficiency has tremendously increased. I would like to promote you. I would like to give incentive and bonus. But first tell me, what is the secret? What is the secret of your increase in work efficiency? 
Mulla Nasiruddin said, boss, please don't ask the secret. Okay. So what Mulla Nasiruddin has done, he has given outlet to his anger by hitting the photograph of his boss with his shoes. So we can have a more civilized way for the outlet of the stress, stress hormones and pain and anger by doing physical exercise. So physical exercise is very essential for our physical and mental health. If you do regular physical exercise, the chances of developing this chronic disorder would be less. Your heart would be very strong and you would lead a very long life. So what is a physical exercise? Now you can do various types of physical exercise. There are three main types of physical exercise. The exercise which increase your stamina, the exercise which increase your strength and the exercise which increase your flexibility. So what are the exercises which increase your stamina? These are various aerobic exercises like running, aerobic walking, swimming, cycling, and dancing. What are the exercises which increase your strength? These are weight training like gym, going into gym. And third is the exercise which increase your flexibility. And these are various stretching exercises and various yoga. So you have to do the combination of these three exercises 30 minutes per day for at least five days per week. Just start moving your body. Our body is not meant for sitting. We are become a couch potato. And that's why the incidence of these chronic disorders are increasing. So start doing 30 minutes exercise per day. If you are not able to do exercise at a stretch for 30 minutes, you can do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes, or 50 minutes in the evening, okay? So you can do in whatever way possible. Avoid sitting at one place for a prolonged period of time. After say one hour, just get up, walk, do some stretching. If you have to go to the market, instead of taking vehicle, you go walking. Instead of using lift, try to use staircase. So these things will add in a big way and it will lead to a complete physical and mental health. So do 30 minutes exercise every day for at least five days per week. The second principle we have discussed is a creative transformation. I'd like to share one story with you. If I keep a cow dung at your doorstep, what will happen? It will emanate odor and nobody will come to your house. But if I use this cow dung in the garden as a fertilizer, what will happen? The plant will have a flower and flower will emanate fragrance. So what we have done is we have creatively transformed the odor of a cow dung into the fragrance of flower. Similarly, stress has a tremendous energy. The way the atom has a nuclear energy. The nuclear energy can be used to either bomb Hiroshima, Nagasaki and kill millions of people, or you can use the nuclear energy to generate electricity. It is up to you. Similarly, stress has a tremendous energy. If you use for developing various hobbies like reading, dancing, painting, gardening, so you will able to transform the energy of stress for a better purpose. Also, we have to creative, cognitively restructure our mindset. I have told you that stress is idiosyncratic. Stress to one person may not be stressed to other. It depends upon the person's belief system. And if we have a negative belief system, then we will we will deal with any uh, challenges situation as a stress. But if we have a positive mindset, then we will deal with that situation in a challenging way. We'll take it as a challenge for our self-improvement. I'd like to share one story. 
once there was a construction going on one saint went and he was watching how the workers were doing the work he went to the first worker the first worker was doing the work in a very agitated state the saint asked him my dear son what are you doing he said don't you see i'm doing a work with a sand brick and cement then the saint went to the second worker the second worker was doing the work for the sake of it when the the saint asked him what are you doing he said i'm just building a wall then he went to the third worker this third worker was doing the same thing but he was singing he was very happy there was smile on his face the saint asked him what are you doing the worker said i am constructing a temple i am a part of a big project this temple will bring happiness a peace of mind in this community and i am very happy to be part of it okay so you can see the three workers are doing the same thing but their approach their mindset towards seeing that job were totally different that's why the first worker was very stressed doing the same the second worker was apathetic and third worker was enjoying it so how we see a particular situation it causes stress if we take it as a challenge then it is called a challenge response a hormone called as dhea secreted and it leads to the increase in performance but if we take it as a stressful painful situation then it leads to a lot of chronic health and mental health problem okay so you have to have a positive mindset and how you develop a positive mindset you have to replace your negative belief system by positive belief system by visualization by repetition by doing meditation okay so have a positive approach toward life now the third principle is taking care of fruit i would like to share one story with you once there was a kingdom and there was a king queen the queen had a very beautiful garden people from far away places used to come to see the garden the beautiful flowers unfortunately one day the queen become ill for the treatment she has to go to other city she was very worried about her garden but her son came and said mother you take care of your health and i'll take care of the garden the relieved mother went for the treatment after one month when she came back she straight away went to the garden but seeing the state of the garden she become very unhappy and angry she scolded her son that you have not taken proper care of my garden but son said mother please don't scold me i used to work in the garden from morning to night i used to clean each and every leaves i used to give water to each and every leaves flower but i don't know what has happened the trees become dried the mother said my dear son the life of the tree is not in the leaves flowers but it is at the root it is in the root if you have given a water to the root if you have taken care of the root the plant would have taken care of itself and it would have bear green leafy green leaves and flowers as you have neglected the root the tree has dried and there are no leaves and flower so my dear friends we have forgotten our root we are not only body and mind we are body mind and soul and we have forgotten our soul and that's why the tree of our life has dried and there are no leaves and there's no flowers okay the saint kabir has said ghungat ka ghungat ka pat khol re te ko pihu milenge ghat ghat mein wo sai ram ta katuk vachan mat bol re शून्य महल में दियन बार लो आसन सो मत डोल रे जागो जुगुत सु रंग महल में पिय पायो अन मोल रे कहे कबीर आनंद भयो बाजत अनत डोल रे सो कबीर सेट की यू हैव क्रिएटेड अ कर्टन बिटवीन यू एंड योर सोल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ योर माइंड दैट्स व्हाई देयर इज अ डार्कनेस 
inside you. If you take a light in the form of meditation in this dark temple, a dark temple, then you will see your God, your Paramatma, your soul, and you will experience the kind of happiness which is everlasting. Okay. So if you want to take care of the root, you have to do meditation. Now there are various method of meditation, but which I follow and which is scientifically investigated all over the world is a mindful meditation. So what do you mean by mindful meditation? So mindfulness is living in a present moment, accepting the thing as it is in a non-judgmental way, having no regrets about past, not worrying about future, okay, and living in a present moment. And this is called as mindful, mind, mindfulness. So what happens, we are always have a regret about our past or we are worried about future and we are not in a present moment. Past is a history, future is a mystery, present is a gift, that's why it's called as present. So we have to remain at the present moment if you want to lead a healthy and happy life. So how to do a mindful meditation? So you have to start practicing mindful meditation. Sit at a quiet place, or you can do it <clears throat> while lying down position as well. You have to slowly close your eyes and you have to just observe your breath at the nostril. The air coming in, the air going out the air coming in, the air going out, okay? So you have to just observe the breath at the nostril, feel the sensation, feel the moment of air to the nostril in your lung. You have to just observe it. Do not try to control it, okay? Now, during this process, the thought will occur in our mind, okay? Our mind is like a monkey. It hops from one tree to other. It, so a lot of thought will come in your mind. So do not prevent this thought. You have to just observe this thought. So when you come to know that you are in some thoughts, bring back your attention at the nostril. And this is a very important step. And this is called as mindful meditation. So your aim is not to become a thoughtless actively. Your, your aim is not a concentration but your aim is just observation. You have to just observe your thought. For example, if you're sitting at the bank of river, you're just observing the water coming in and the water going out. You are not trying to prevent the water to come and not flowing away with the water. You're just observing the water. Similarly, you have to just observe your thoughts. And when you neglect something, it disappear. After some time, you will experience that you have become a thoughtless. And when you become a thoughtless, you will experience a kind of peace you have never experienced. So this is the first step in a mindful meditation. But the peace of mind is not only things. We have to attain the happiness. So how do you have the happiness? The Kabir has said, so when you, when I was there, there is no God. And when I, when I am not there, there is only God. So what is I? It means ego. Ego means aging God out, aging happiness out, aging peace of mind out. As long as there is ego, you will be deprived of happiness. So you have to let go of this ego. So during meditation, you have to imagine that you are like a drop of rainwater. You are falling in an ocean and as the raindrop sees its experience and become one with ocean, you have to imagine that you have lost your existence and become uh, one with this supreme consciousness. So when you experience that you have lost your existence, you will experience a kind of happiness which is everlasting. So first step is become thoughtless, have peace of mind, and then second step become egoless and have a everlasting happiness. 
so do this mindful meditation exercise 5 minutes start with 2 minutes and slowly increase to 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes once you experience the peace of mind and happiness you will automatically increase the duration of the mindful meditation now mindful meditation practice is not the only thing you have to incorporate the mindful meditation in each and every moment of your life for example your eating can become a mindful meditation while eating you stop your television just see what fruits what food is there in front of you just experience the its smell experience the taste experience the moment when it goes from your mouth to your throat to your gut so your eating will become mindful meditation your work will become mindful meditation if we 100% there while you are doing the work your sleep may, may become mindful meditation if you don't have a time to do mindful meditation when you lie down you know bed at night follow the step just observe your breath air coming in and air going out and observe your thought bring back your attention when you are in thought at nostril and when you do this and when you fall asleep your sleep will become meditation so you start doing meditation practice and incorporate it in each and every moment of your life those who do mindful meditation the results are awesome you will completely change person and it will completely transform your life the only one thing if you want to take from this webinar is mindful meditation if you do mindful meditation you will know what is good for your health and what is bad for your health the mindful meditation will lead to physical mental and spiritual health so start doing mindful meditation and take your health in your own hand so dear friends we have come to the end of this webinar in this webinar i have discussed about what is stress what changes occur in our body during stress what are the symptoms of stress how to assess your physical health and i have discussed three stress management strategy first to give outlet to the stress hormone by doing physical exercise second creative transformation by developing various hobbies like painting singing dancing and gardening and cognitive restructuring having positive mindset and third is taking care of fruit by doing meditation dear friends if you implement this principle it will completely transform your life start implementing the principle and change your life dear friends in this webinar we have discussed about stress but due to time constraint i can give the glimpse of this various stress management strategy if you want to take your health in your own hand and if you want to learn more about health to achieve holistic health then i have a digital online course for you and i'm going to discuss about it so if you are stressed out a burnt out in your life if you have chronic disorders like obesity diabetes heart disease cancer mental disorders and want to reverse it or you want to complement your treatment if you want to prevent this disorder entering in your life if you want to remain young forever if you want to increase your efficiency in your job if you want to have awesome relationship with your spouse and colleague if you want to know what is the meaning of life if you want to have a peace of mind and if you want to lead healthy happy and more fulfilling life then join me in this community and i am going to discuss about it
now this online digital course is consisting of various course bundle in first bundle i have discussed about stress in detail what is stress what changes occur in your body what are the diseases caused by stress what are the causes of stress what are the mechanism stress causes disease so these are all covered in this video based uh, bundle now I, then i have discussed various stress management technique in physical exercise i have discussed which is the best exercise how to incorporate exercise in your daily life in progressive muscle relaxation i have discussed the technique how to do progressive muscle relaxes relaxation to relax sleep blueprint sleep is very essential for our health during day wear and tear occur and during sleep this wear and tear is healed A lot of hormone is secreted the fat is burned and memory is consolidated so sleep is very essential for health so in this bundle i have discussed in detail about sleep diet diet is very important you are always bombarded with eat low fat diet eat ketogenic diet eat high protein diet eat mediterranean diet and you are confused if you want to know which is the best diet if you want to know how to eat whether to eat every two hourly or to eat two to three times per day which is a bad diet what is intermittent fasting then everything is covered in this bundle laughter therapy laughter is very essential as a stress management technique and lead a healthy and happy life so how to use laughter to manage your stress is covered in this uh, course bundle diary writing what happens you if you keep the emotion to yourself then it goes in your blood and come out in the form of mental and physical disorder if you give outlet by doing diary writing then you give outlet to this your problem your stress and your anxiety and you become a stress free so i have discussed in this bundle about diary writing how to use a managed stress music therapy music is an integral part of humanity and how to use it to manage stress has been covered in this bundle guided imagery our mind consider actual thing and imagine thing in a similar way so if you are in a stressful situation and if you imagine that you are sitting at a seashore or in at the bank of a river or on a top of mountain the stress will reduce so how to use the guided imagery to reduce stress happy relationship one of the most common cause of stress is a bad relationship with your spouse and i have discussed in this bundle how to have an awesome relationship with your partner social support if you have a good social support then you would lead healthy and happy life so how to have a good social support i have dis discussed in this bundle volunteering it is found that those do those people who do volunteer work without any expectation they lead a very healthy and happy life so how to use volunteering to manage your stress prayer it is also found that those people who do prayer have a very good healthy and happy life so how to use a prayer to lead a healthy and happy life has been covered time management lack of time inappropriate management i in in appropriate management of time is a stress and how to manage your time how to increase your time how to multiply your time has been discussed in this course bundle cognitive restructuring how to change your belief system how to change your negative belief system with positive positive belief system has been covered in this course bundle yoga ashtanga yoga yoga is not only posture but there are eight limbs of yoga and it has been discovered meditation i have discussed meditation in a very short shortly so in this bundle i have discussed meditation in detail meaning of life from victor frankl what why we are on this earth what is the meaning of life what is the purpose of life all this has been covered in this bundle and the last but not the least is happiness we all strive to become happy and how to become happy has been covered in this bundle so there are various course bundle 17 stress management technique and 
the cost the total cost of this bundle is 49999 okay i'd like to share my story with you five years back my health was in a bad shape i was completely stressed and burnt out then i stopped pause and started introspecting i read hundreds of book and formulated certain principle and it completely transformed my life so all these course has been taken after reading hundreds of book and listening thousands of hours of literature audio book video youtube videos okay so you don't have to read thousands of book hundreds of book everything related to health has been covered in this course you don't have to go anywhere if you enroll in this course but as you want to take your health in your own hand as you want to join my community as i am on a mission to educate 1 million people about the stress chronic disorder and how to manage effectively so as to lead a healthy and happy life i am giving all this bundle at discounted price of 3 3999 only okay so if you will click the link below immediately then you will get at a discounted price and second you would get an opportunity to to join my private group health and happiness and it is a group of all health conscious people who want to take their health in their own hand and achieve holistic health and in this private group i share a latest health related articles videos of myself and other people and also i conduct a weekly mastermind class in this weekly mastermind class i will be discussing everything about health various topic in detail and i'll be answering your question i would like to share the review of the people who has attended my webinar and my course and they have given a fantastic review five star review on trust pilot you can see there's a five star review thank you for giving so much important information please do continue thank you best of luck dr samir powers is living healthy and stress free life with sunil dr sunil has been sharing an excellent practical information and skill that could be useful for living stress free healthy life is a good orator and deliver skill effectively dr magna chawla says useful and important points stressed on to lead a stress free life it has definitely helped me tremendously and hope it helps many other too excellent work dr sunil mahendra he is a, such a great speaker and explains so well has got great knowledge ajinga dalal the stress management webinar is an unique opportunity to learn how to manage stress in routine life i am personally benefited from managing stress and better decision making process thank you dr sunil for such an energetic presentation dr mayer jorbeker very useful speech by dr sunil sable hi his talk on stress management has helped many people for relieve stress thanks so there are so many review so many uh Uh, members in my community who has who has been helped by my webinar my course and it has completely transformed their life so if you want to achieve holistic health lead healthy happy and more fulfilling life and successful in your professional life then join my community by clicking the link below and i assure you i will be holding your hand toward the achievement of holistic health so my dear friends thank you so much for joining at this webinar i'm giving you a link down you give uh, me a five star rating write the comment in detail what you have learned and what action you're going to take to take your health in your own hand thank you so much for giving your time and attending this webinar looking forward you in my community and have a very wonderful healthy life i bye bye take care thank you